Hey everyone, welcome back to Circuits Fair. In today's video, I'll be walking you through the process of installing Mac OS 9 so you can dual boot it alongside Mac OS 10 on a supported PowerPC Mac. For this demo, I'll be using a PowerBook G4 Titanium currently running Mac OS 10.4 Tiger. Before anything else, make sure to back up any important files you want to keep. This was more challenging than I anticipated. Since this PowerBook is running Mac OS 10.4 Tiger, the highest version officially supported, Time Machine isn't an option because it wasn't introduced until Mac OS 10.5 Leopard. I needed to find some third-party backup software. And after a bit of searching, I came across Carbon Copy Cloner, which was highly recommended for Mac OS X Tiger. I gave it a try, and well, uh -oh. it took hours of troubleshooting to get it working. And after 16 attempts, I finally gave up. So I went back to searching and found an alternative on Macintosh Garden called Mac Backup. This one worked flawlessly. It had an easy to use interface and I opted to only back up my folders and files, though it offers additional backup options. A tip here, if you have enough space on your external drive, you might want to go into the preferences and disable compression to speed things up a bit. Once I selected my backup destination, I clicked backup now, and this time everything worked as expected. Just a heads up, depending on the size of your data, this could take quite a while, but it's definitely worth it to protect your important files. With the backup complete, it's time to prep the computer for the installation. Start by inserting your Mac OS X Tiger installation disk into the computer. Restart the computer and hold down the option key until you see the option to choose a startup disk. Once the installer launches, click on Utilities and then select Disk Utility. From there, choose the drive and click on the Partition tab. Here, you'll want to create two partitions. Name the second one Mac OS 9 and give it around 15 gigabytes of storage. Leave the rest for Mac OS 10. After that, click Partition and Disk Utility will set up your drive. With the partitions ready, you can go ahead and install Mac OS 10 Tiger on the larger partition. Once Tiger is installed, eject the Tiger disk and insert the Mac OS 9.2.2 disk. Just like before, restart the computer, hold down the option key, and select the Mac OS 9 disk when it appears on the screen. When Mac OS 9 boots up, double click Mac OS install, and choose the partition you created earlier for OS 9. Click continue and the installation will begin. Once both operating systems are installed, you're all set. To switch between Mac OS Tiger and Mac OS 9, just restart the computer and hold down the option key during startup. You'll then be able to choose which OS you want to boot into. And that's it. Now you've got both Mac OS X Tiger and Mac OS 9 running side by side on your PowerBook G4. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tech guides and vintage computing content. Thanks for watching. So high, I'm hypnotized.